listeners and subscribers. Hope all is well. You know, <laughs> it's a sad state of affairs we're in. These folks out there, they've got to start paying attention because they're usurping the resistance, okay? We're poised to lose America as we know it, all right? This is about the future of generations and what they're on the precipice to inherit. And if this trend continues, okay, this push for control, we aren't going to be able to talk about anything of substance on the internet because this censorship push, which is just euphemistic for control, it isn't going to stay confined uh, to YouTube or other social media. I, I can guarantee you that this is going to create into the corners of the net and it's going to start to resemble something a lot like China okay and just like China where you can go to prison for writing a dissenting book I think American policy will trend akin and matter of fact there's no doubt okay there's no doubt because we're pacified mollified placated you know and, and placation serves as a powerful deterrent for those who would otherwise be behooved to move all right because there's no denying America's a relatively unique country right with unique values compared to the rest of the world but like i said that's due to change rapidly in the coming years because the up and coming generations they only have the consolidated biased and now openly hostile mainstream media to reference and it's not only that but an increasingly censored internet right and soon to be more policed and militarized schools cities and towns because our youth, they don't have any context or precept for the rights and freedoms we once enjoyed. So how will they be behooved to move, right? Things will just continue to tick down the no-go road. And if we just look at our current thinking population and what they allow, and I use that word loosely, uh, things don't look good because these are the folks raising the children, right? So we got to understand that this isn't about Maza versus Crowder. Uh, but it's about mainstream media versus the people versus truth. Again, it, it's, it's about control. But fewer and fewer people are going to recognize that because they're dug into their holes. So it's like what I outlined in my last two episodes, that these topics with political slants, they'll dominate the emerging narratives in a way that obfuscates what these agendas truly aim to accomplish. Okay, and that's why things are so sad. And, you know, what's a pretty good example of that working theory? If we look at the straight pride thing, uh, I think that can give us some clues, which, hey, I actually think is a pretty good idea because if certain heterophobes out there, they get to have, you know, gay pride, uh, then I think it should go the other way too. You know, that's the beauty of freedom. Uh, but like I said before, when it comes to topics like these, the topics that tend to get political in any way, the opposition, they instinctively engage in the contrary. So the right touts for straight pride while the left attempts to negate it. Okay, and another adjunct to that and as an addendum to proof of that working theory, that's exactly what we saw with the facial recognition. Uh, a leftist city bans it, so the right advocates for it. You know, people are mentally enslaved. They're prisoners to their political ideologies exactly in this way, okay, because they can't seem to perceive anything outside of that realm, and the result is very un-American, all right, because the measures we're endorsing here, they resemble those we've seen across the pond and nations with even tighter control than ours. So we're losing the American way. And I mean, if you interrogate yourself, are we casting votes or endorsing measures that build up our country anymore? No. And I get that that's partially due to the effective conditioning um, and being pit against each other. But this tribal loyalty, okay, to Trump or the Dems, it's BS. It's sickening. Doing this, we're eroding the fabric of our nation on behalf of the controllers. Okay, America is being set up for a fall in so many ways. And what's sad about it is we're not even going to recognize it. You know, we're well on our way to the Fourth Reich. America's been taking on the chops for a while now. I mean, whether we're talking uh, financially, politically, civilly, uh, we have the pushes for black against white, gays against straight, left against right, uh, law enforcement is against the citizen, everything's in the bag. You know, all the while, any dissenting opinions are censored, and because of the tribal politics I just outlined, people can't even see the censorship push outside for what it really is, which is, again, control, okay? And while it is affecting us, I think it's aimed elsewhere, that the powers that be are preparing a world for the young, the up-and-coming generations. Again, a generation that remembers not what it lost, uh, but only what it's been given, right? That line in Avengers uh, Endgame, Thanos, okay? So we know the media's already consolidated, right? 90% control. And now they're scrubbing the internet too. So this sentence here, it rings so true. So by the time these generations reach thinking age, uh, they'll already be programmed and have no access to information as to what things were like before this George Orwell, Eldest Huxley nightmare, all right? And let me reiterate, they're usurping the resistance, okay, by capturing the minds and imaginations of the young. They instill them with the indoctrination younger and younger, and without the access to information before things were the way they are now, they'll have no context for what freedom really is. Yeah, you know, how good of a concept do we even have of freedom now, right?
It's just, this is a sad state of affairs. People can't recognize certain things, but I'll, I'll leave you with this. When these particular topics and scenarios begin to emerge, you've got to keep your eyes and ears open for the alternative narratives that offer insight into what's actually happening behind the scenes, okay? Because things are never quite what they appear to be, and that's especially with the catalyzing events, okay? The powers that be, they capitalize on those by taking advantage of our mental pliability in their wake, okay? And we end up backing something we otherwise wouldn't have, and that's why America is starting not to resemble America. And in that way, these talking heads, they just perpetuate more of the same, which is actually a good thing because it gives us an opportunity to highlight the patterns for certain folks out there, okay, because not everybody can accept this kind of stuff, to grow our numbers, okay? We can grow our numbers by continuing to educate people and pressing the ball on this. Anyway, that's all for now. California Carter, signing off.